Hi everybody, so in video 2118 we talked about flux switching and we talked about how we could turn magnets off and on and we made this which was kind of an example of it and was very basic so that you could adapt it into other things but I then thought well why not have a bit of fun with this? Why not make something that could actually be used? And what I came up with was this. Now you can see it's basically only really three parts and the key components are these two parts here. Now mostly it's just a holder actually because in order to do this what we're going to need are six M12 nuts and four magnets like these. These are M35 neodymium magnets one centimeter in diameter and five millimeters deep. Now the strength of this particular thing is going to depend very much on these. If you want to make this deeper, so you use one centimetre instead of half a, half a centimetre, then you'll have to adapt the casing because they slide in that channel right there and you have to make that channel deeper, but that's easy enough to do. This one it's fun and it's a nice demonstration and it's an actual thing but you can again like all of my stuff adapt it to meet your own requirements if you want and you're more than welcome to do so because I put these files on Thingiverse the link is in the bottom they're creative commons open source knock yourself out whatever you want to do with them anyway let's get this thing built first thing we need to do is drill that out at 12 millimeters We need two of those. One of them goes over that central spline in there and just fits neatly in that centre section and the other one goes right in there. Now these are a snug fit as they need to be because everything needs to touch. Now we take this section and our magnets and we're going to put them with the north pole, actually the same pole, facing the same direction. So two magnets will slide in these cylinders here and the north or the same direction will be pointing in one way and we do that again for both of these so you just peel off one of them slide it into there making sure that the there we go making sure that the magnets point in the same direction. Then what we do is take two more M12s and pop them in those recesses there. And we do exactly the same with that. Then what we end up with is that. And you just slot the two together and it will find its own rest position. And now we need the handle. The handle just glues on the top like that with a little bit of super glue, just like that. And the <laughs> super glue will hold it nice and firmly. Okay, and that's it completed. Now like that, It'll do nothing, but if we hold it and twist this bit round, then suddenly it will become magnetic and we can pick things up with it until we twist that another 180 degrees and the magnet turns off. So we can twist it, becomes magnetic, twist it, it drops off, <laughs> twist it. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Anyway, put this up, like I say, on Thingiverse. Feel free to adapt it. This is essentially, essentially, it is exactly what magnetic work holding devices are when you get those clamps for welding, that kind of thing. This one's not amazingly strong because I didn't use amazingly strong magnets, but you can easily make it stronger just by using stronger magnets or just by um, putting more of them in there and adapting that case a little bit. But that's how you would make a switchable magnet that could be used for door lock, uh, holding work pieces, that sort of stuff. It's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.